today's devotional can be found in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 17. Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Alright. So we're imperfect beings. We're imperfect beings. We live on the earth. We make mistakes. But guess what? First and foremost, we're children of God. He sent us to earth that we might have mortal experiences. And he gave us Jesus Christ that we might be able to look beyond our imperfections and our mistakes. That we might be able to see ourselves as children of God. More than children of men. Because no matter what happens in life, God will be there for us. Christ will be there for us. The Holy Ghost is there for us. I mean, so long as we choose them to be. And we need to take comfort in the fact that we can always have the Spirit within our hearts. So long as we do good and desire it. And it's so long as we just keep hope and faith in God and Jesus Christ and in the Holy Ghost. In order to get close to God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost, we should establish ourselves in every good word and every good work that there is. Good works include the small things like scripture study, going to church, praying, service, just little things that will help give us what we need to establish a stronghold in faith. And we shouldn't be afraid to establish a stronghold of faith. And even by living ordinances, which are baptism, which are baptism, receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost, and all the temple ordinances, we become closer to Christ. And we feel even more so that comfort. Because God and Christ don't mean for people to be alone with nothing but their sorrow. They don't, they don't like the fact that some people choose that, but they respect people's ability to choose. God and Christ invite us to choose to have comfort in our hearts, that we might be able to feel the Spirit and be directed to what good we can do for and in the world, even if it is one person through one person at a time. We need to take comfort in the fact that the atonement helps us to see our value, and by seeing our value we can realize that our words, our thoughts, our deeds, our hopes, they make a difference. And we should take comfort in the fact that we are loved by God and Jesus Christ, even if, even if none else love us unconditionally. God and Jesus Christ love us unconditionally. And we need to take comfort in the fact that the atonement gives us opportunities that, that will not only help us in this life, but also in the next. And we need to take comfort in the fact that we can choose to have joy. And we can choose to keep it. And we can choose to have help in doing this. Without any fear of being judged for how long it may take us. We should have comfort in all those things and more that is good and wholesome. For God and Jesus Christ have given us these things. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.